My name is Lisa Fisula. I run the Tattoo Learning Center in Schenectady, New York. And the tattoo world hates me. They say I'm giving away the secrets of the trade. The truth is, I'm blowing their cover. My staff and I are showing that people can learn to tattoo in just two weeks. You will never get the coaching that you get here in a regular apprenticeship in the tattoo industry. Every course, I take a handful of students with no tattooing experience. They all live together in a house near the school. To graduate, students must complete five tests or they fail. And for most of my students, failure isn't an option. I'm just so unhappy in my job right now. I, I can't stand it anymore. I'm kind of starting to run out of options. People come to our school to change their life. Sometimes there's tears. I'm not going to chicken out, but I'm scared. The clients can be nightmares. Ah! Are you done yet? And there's always screw-ups. Who's going to make it? That's not good enough. I'm going to have to kick it up a notch. Who's going to fail? I just don't want to mess somebody's skin up forever. And who's going to fall apart? Are you kidding me? Suck it up or leave. Welcome to Tattoo School. All the people that come here are certainly interesting people. This is an alternative lifestyle career. My name is Jeff Bonesteel. I am from right down the street. Did the whole thing, got married, bought a house, had some kids. I've had my current job 10 years now. I'm about to turn 30 years old, kind of starting to run out of options. My name is Christopher Danley. I live in Brooklyn, New York. And I've been married for five years to my husband, Michael. Currently, I work for a major grocery retailer and I'm in charge of the floral department. I'm just so unhappy in my job right now that I, I can't stand it anymore. I was expecting like one bedroom. Wait, this is not clean up. This is Jersey style cleanup. My name is Alan Dabson. I'm from New Jersey. People find out that I'm an artist. They want to know, can they get some tattooing? I always have to tell them no. I guess I'm here so that I can change that answer. I can start to tell them yes. When it's something that I know I'm good at, I'm definitely going to be competitive. Right now. This class is a little unusual because our last student, Alyssa, has two month old twins she's bringing with her. She's leaving them at a friend's house to babysit. <laughs> My name is Alyssa Keeney. I'm 22 years old. And I am married to Stuart Keeney, who is a soldier in the US Army, and he's in Afghanistan. My husband has like a lot of friends in the army. They always get tattoos. If I have them certified and licensed, they can just come to me and I can make some cash. So working from home is ideal. I'm afraid at the end of the day, when Alyssa goes home and has to do all her mommy things, she is definitely going to wish she didn't bring them. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm nervous about the scrutiny because one of the luxuries I have is that all of my bad artwork will find themselves in the trash. Here, you won't be able to hide your mistake. I know that I should be worried about the fact that I'm turning away from making a good living, having a retirement plan, but I don't care anymore. This is truly, honestly, the first thing that I've done that is purely me. Sweet. When I got my first tattoo, it's kind of one of those things, I'm like, wow, this is kind of cool. Like, I kind of want to try that. It's a gamble. There's no guarantee that I'm going to be good at this. I mean, I can draw on a piece of paper, but that's with a, you know, five ounce pencil. It's not with a two pound tattoo machine. When the students come here, I like to do a tattoo demonstration. This is geared for those of you who may never have seen a tattoo performed before. They get to hear the machines, see some of the steps involved, and get a good overview of what they will be doing. Ready, Ned? Yes. You might see a little blood on this, because it's biggish needle. Not for the faint of heart. You're not just like painting on a canvas. A person is trusting you to put something permanent on their body. You have to have a plan, because things can go wrong quickly. 
you come from? It's pretty tough. The needle doesn't do all the yeah. work for you. You definitely have to do a lot of the pressing yourself. When I saw the needle go in the skin for the first time, and all of a sudden I just felt the room kind of coming in a little bit on me, and my stomach flop. And the last thing I wanted to do is be that person who, who faints. To see a tattoo actually being performed was good. Most of the learning is about watching, you know, emulating, copying what you see. And the more I can see her do it, you know, the better I will be. Okay, that's all I'm doing there. I don't know how she does it. She's amazing. I've, I've never seen anything like it. She's got some talent, and she's going to give it to us. OK, is everybody ready for their bananas? Yeah. We use a banana because it's got smooth skin and it's easy to tattoo. Bring it on, all right. Uh, Do you want me to shave the banana or? No, <laughs> no shaving the banana. Pick up the machine in your left hand, hold the needle in the tube in your right hand, and thread the loop up through the hole at the bottom of the machine. Push down on this and you'll see how far that needle. You're plugged in. Yes. I'm hanging on to it. I'm careful that the needle's not near me. Step on it. The challenge to this is, as easy as it looks, it's really difficult. It's usually kind of a surprise for them to feel something vibrating in their hand, heavy weight. It's a whole new experience for them. Let's see what you got. Give us a little glimpse into what you're into. What do you like? What do you like to draw? You can doodle, you can do your name, you can do something special, whatever you want to do. It was awkward. Uh, I was holding a brand new instrument. I think I was probably squeezing it just a little too hard just to control my nerves, control the shaking a little bit. Tattoo school is exhausting. They're using muscles they have never used before. You're in an uncomfortable position the entire time. Your hands are multitasking while you're holding an eight and a half ounce machine. Nobody is in shape for this. So how does it feel having the machine itself in your hand? My thumb is killing me right now. Get that endurance up. Cause I'm yeah. like, I don't know how I sit there and do a whole <laughs> large piece and line it before a break. I mean, that's insane. like going to town there, huh? All right, everybody, time's up. You can set your machines down. Bring your bananas. I'm scared. Get out of here. All right, let's take a look. I'm not going to lie. That was a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> what seemed like the hardest part of it? Curvature of the banana was kind of hard to work around. Working on certain body parts is going to be a little tricky. It's pretty crazy. Trying to make the same mark over and over again. From what I've seen so far, these guys have a long way to go, and things are about to get a whole lot more intense. We're going to go to lunch, and when you come back from lunch, it's time for your first person. Yes. Hey, it's too late now. We better do it. Real, Ready? live, living, breathing person. <laughs> the biggest difference is it doesn't just sit on your tray. You might be leaning. They may be leaning. So that will be much different than the banana. You can see them thinking about what's about to happen. Oh my God, can I do this? You can see them question themselves. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Christopher, you okay in there? You okay? I don't know if I can do it. I'm not gonna chicken out, but I'm scared. I haven't been this scared in um, a long time. Next up, Christopher goes into meltdown mode. Everyone has trouble with their lines. Just keep going. Just work through it. Just get it black. I screwed up. I screwed up several times. If you're beating yourself up on your first tattoo, you're really in for some problems down the line. It's the first week of tattoo school, and the pressure's on. I haven't been this scared in um, a long time. After lunch, it's crunch time. Their first real tattoo on living human flesh. Here we go. 
we are having our lunch. Everybody is pretending that it's all a normal day, but right now they're all scared <laughs> about their tattoo this afternoon. What I've seen from Christopher so far has been really some tight drawing skills. So I'm not worried about his talent for this. I'm just worried about how he's going to react to this emotionally. Today, for the student's first tattoo, they're all going to be in solid black. They're all similar degrees of difficulty. These people have been through a lot of students. They're completely open to what's going to happen to them. But for the students, it's a complete surprise to meet people that they're, they're going to do their first tattoo on. You always remember your first person. <laughs> like having sex, you never forget the first one. Sit down. They're great people. They love the feel of it. Some love to just keep adding to their collection. Some love to help the journey of the student. You gotta learn some ways. I had a 25 year drug addiction. This is my rehab. Is anyone's stomach churning yet? For me, the first day of tattooing is scary. Tattooing has a lot of risks. You're exposed to people and possible disease. There's risks of doing something completely aesthetically unpleasing. For their first tattoo, one student goes at a time, which can be a little scary for the rest because the rest are watching the first one. All eyes on me, right? All right, now we're gonna put the stencil on Gary. The tension builds as the first one starts. If you started tattooing a little and then you wipe the stencil off, don't even bother trying to put it back on. It's not going to go again. As soon as they sit down and have to do this tattoo, you'll know immediately who they really are. Some react, they're really sweet. Some are a little bit nervous. Some get really cranky. It's getting a little tense. We don't want to go that much higher because we're going to smear this. So now start at the bottom that you bottom. haven't done yet. I guess, you know, there's going to be a little bit of pressure because right, so everyone else machine. will have a chance Actually, sorry, to uh, get rid of the jitters. I got to hold them until, you know, until it's my turn. Now you can do a full-blown wipe. Uh, yeah, I'm shaking a little bit, a little nervous. A little of my lines aren't as straight as I want them to be, but I just say I meant to do that, that's all. <laughs> Hang on, let's look. So what happened here, just a little bit of lift went on. It's common to not nail it the first few times. It's rare in life that I ever have to do anything four times in a row. OK, rock and roll. The only thing I'm scared of is myself. All my voices in my head saying I can't do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. But you're doing it, so. I'm really worried about Christopher. He's intensely needy. He needs constant reassurance. And that is really draining for our staff. Lindsay, do you want to do it? Yes, okay, so Lindsay's going to take over with you, Christopher, and we're going to start Alyssa. When I have a student like Christopher, I always pull Lindsay in. She is great with hand holding, reassuring. I am terrible at that. Just keep going. Just work through it. Just get it black. This was the very first time they sunk a needle into somebody's skin, and I was scared about hurting him. But I felt myself withdrawing a little bit, and my throat kind of clamped up, and I just. I've started to feel really sick. It's no big deal. Everyone has trouble with their lines. Nobody's perfect. It's helpful to watch someone else run a line. It gives you the confidence that you might be missing. And the first thing I'm going to do is decide where I want to straighten it from. So here we go. Hear that sound? That kind of sunken sound? Much better. Look at that. There we go. Alyssa surprised me quite a bit. When she got down to tattooing, 
She didn't look nervous, she wasn't shaky, and she really had some nice lines. I got nervous about tattooing somebody, and then when I finally got to it, it was nothing. I'm really surprised, actually, how well I seem to be able to just take to it. Now, you want to wipe a little away to see how you're doing? Nah, I'm a little nervous about how I just did. Alan is exactly what I guessed. He just attacks it. He's just really going for it. Now, going for it can be good, but the skill level is gonna have to match his enthusiasm. At this point, my art background has not been a great help to me. With this, you have to be very exacting. It is like mechanical drawing, which is something that I don't really have any experience with. That's a dry weight and that's a hurting. <laughs> there you go. I think she did an excellent job with us filling. I'd say we're all done. I think Alyssa is gonna surprise me the whole way. I screwed up, I screwed up several times, but I think I'm the only student that really didn't do his whole tattoo. And so I'm not really that, I'm not all that proud of it. I'm really worried about Christopher. If you're beating yourself up on your first tattoo, you're really in for some problems down the line. Tomorrow's a big day. It's an all-day tattoo marathon. Christopher and Alyssa go head to head. <laughs> what are you in a race? I have a little self-doubt. And I'm gonna give Jeff the client from hell. <laughs> Ow! Kidding me? Yesterday, the students did their first tattoo, and Alyssa really surprised me. Look at that. There we go. I would say judging by their first tattoos, Alyssa went from the bottom to the top. I'm really surprised, actually, how well I seem to be able to just take to it. On the other hand, Christopher's at the bottom of the class. Go for it. He's intensely needy. He needs constant reassurance. You just work through it. Keep going. Today, things start to get tough. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, now that I'm here. <laughs> really? How are the little ones? They're all right. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Oh, five hours, I think. <sighs> but not consecutive. Un yeah, say, uninterrupted? Yeah, not uninterrupted. Today, the students are going to be tattooing all day long. This is where it gets physically grueling. They can begin to start losing confidence. It's a normal part of the first week. They're working on the general yes, public. They're not the really warm, fuzzy people that we bring in for the first timers. Having a child? <laughs> You're a lesbian. Hardcore lesbian. We got engaged and we decided to get a matching tattoo. It is two halves of a heart. It's kind of just like a two hearts coming together. Okay, so this is Alyssa. Sit down here. And you are going right down here. Today's a new day. Um, I'm ready to kick some ass. I'm not gonna think about it as hard as I did yesterday. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tattoo. Is that what I'm gonna do? You both have the same one. So Sweet. look at each other's as you're going along to make sure they're looking similar. Now, do you guys know where you're putting them? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You can't tell if it was this challenge for Christopher can go either way. This can really boost his ego if at the end his does look as good as Alyssa's. To make everything look even and look like it flows well, I would tip both sides on the right side down just a hair. Here is your piece for the day, or this morning. Okay. You're gonna be doing that one, that size. I specifically gave Alan a certain type of tattoo today. I wanted him to lighten his hand. I don't want them to all have such a really masculine feel to the line. Just don't press quite as hard as you do. Kind of lighten up a little, and then you'll have a little thinner, more feminine line. 
And then, Jeff, we have your piece. Woo! You get a nice, colorful tiger. Awesome. And it's going to go on a uh, forearm. Like all the everything, everything. Yeah, everything. copy everything. Got it. Yep. OK. All right. That works. Thank all you. Right. Jeff has a really complex piece. A lot of detail, a lot of colors. You ready to roll or what? No. That's Lloyd. What's up, Lloyd? Nice to meet you. You nervous? Yes. All right, you should be. I'm dangerous. Jeff is in for a funny morning. This is not nice. We've had Lloyd in here before. Lloyd does not sit well. All eyes on you. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Take it like a man. <laughs> I think I'm going to pee my pants. Oh, no. I don't know what to grab. Just stay still for him. At least I'm trying. Right? All right. Right? Let Jeff, him, are you okay moving let target? Let him do what he's doing. <laughs> Hello. Another three hours or so, we'll be all right. Oh my God, this is terrible. Okay, Ooh. Open the door and let the air in here. So... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 so when you say it's black, right black, you're fine, but these are not. So you're not in enough, so you do have to go over them again. Ellen's having some troubles down there. We told him to go a little lighter, and it worked out a little bit, but then half of the piece is too light, and he has to go over it and again. Can you tell me how far along she is? What, are you in a race? No, no, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Um, she's working on her solid fill. Doing real good. I think they're, I think Christopher's racing her. Is Alyssa like, aware Alyssa's of this? She's not racing. She's just doing her business. I have a little self-doubt, you know? I mean, I'm doing something exactly that somebody else is doing, and that's a little daunting. And you can't tell so, Jeff, how are you doing? We're getting through it. Do you feel like you can do your best work on him? No, absolutely not. He came in and he, he put on the show. And, you know, everybody thought it was funny, ha-ha. But that really kind of messed with me because then I couldn't do my best work. I'm really trying to, you know, get these tattoos to be perfect because I want to start, like, a legitimate portfolio. And uh, I don't know. I think he kind of screwed me a little bit. Back in the saddle. You're going to have to chill on the face because... You don't want him all like blah, 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 blah. Ah! OK. Oh. Here we go. Ow! <laughs> oh, my god. So that's what we call our worst case customer scenario. That's about as bad as it'll get. He's crying, carrying on, but he's moving. This is good work so far. We're going to see. Keep it watching. That's right. He did what I told him to do. He lightened up his grip on everything. He's definitely thinking about what he's doing, and it is working out. May I kick over your shoulder? I'm going to look at your key. They're getting tired, both of them, but Christopher's kind of getting a second win. Nice, nice, nice. And Alyssa's really, the fatigue is catching up with her naturally. She's got these little kids at home. And they've been tattooing for 10 hours. I got to stop. I'm just nitpicking. Yeah, you are. All right, do we want to have them both get up and take a look, and then also take a look at each other's tattoos? I was nervous about the fact that they should look like they're the same tattoo. They're going to be uh, together a lot, so I want them to be able to show it off and, and no one say, oh, wait a second, that one doesn't look exactly right. Pretty dang close. In the end, the two pieces, they did come out really nice. Hers was a little stronger than Christopher's. Even though she struggled through it, I really was surprised at the end that she pulled it together. I feel so I tired and shaky just from leaning over. <laughs> I hurt a little bit in my back, but uh, other than that, I feel good. Kind of hard, just trying to hold them still and jumping around with the liner. And